All right, what's going on, folks? So it is me, KG, again. I'm back again with a review. I don't know if you guys can see, it's kind of bright. All right, can you see me now? Cool. All right, so this is the Ubiquiti uh, Unify AC Mesh Access Point. Um, I've been wanting to play around with captive portals and just having the ability to have the guests that sign onto my network get redirected to another page. Um, I have an Amazon Associates account and I wanted to try around and do some cool things with that, um, with the redirect. I had this router in the past. I was trying to get OpenWRT to get installed on it and have one of those open source captive uh, portals work, but it was too much work. This came in at a great price point of, zoom in please, $95, $103 with tax, so. Um, it's power over ethernet, uh, it's uh, weatherproof, put it outside, so. Let's do a little unboxing, I'll show you what's inside of it, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it. You're gonna have to try to do this one-handedly because, I don't have my truck pot. Oh, this is fire. Perfect. Perfect for unboxing. You don't need no knife. Slide the top off. The access point with no antennas. This does come with the power over Ethernet injector. I thought I was going to have to buy that, but you don't, so we are good. Alright, uh, I'm gonna set this up. I'm just gonna leave one back on. Only thing left there is oh, power cable. That's it. BRB. That is the access point. That's the Ethernet cable. It does power over Ethernet. So that just basically means that there's no power dongle that's going to the, the access point. The power is coming in over this yellow Ethernet cable. So this gray cable goes to my existing access point or switch or router, whatever you got. Um, and then um, this yep, white box gets plugged into the wall. Electricity gets introduced over the ethernet, hence the name power over ethernet. Brings it up to the switch, which is gonna be eventually outside somewhere. And power is the access point. And there's a little LED right there that lets you know it's on. So now that we have this plugged in and on the network, we gotta go back over to the computer. And this is different from like a Netgear router. With a Netgear router or a tr traditional home router, you would go to 198.162.1.1 to configure it, and then you would get access to this um, configuration page. Um, with this thing, it has a controller, which is just a fancy name for a piece of software that lives on the computer that actually tells this access point what to do. So basically the smart brain is not in the hardware, it's on the software that lives in the computer. So I'm gonna download the um, uh, controller software and I'll turn you guys back on in a second. All right, folks, so we are here at the fun part. Um, we're in the configuration utility that comes, well, you don't, it doesn't come with it, you have to download it. It's called the controller. So basically, it's acting as a brain for the access point um, that basically doesn't have any intelligence on it. And in order for this to work, this uh, controller is going to be actually have to always be running on a machine on your network or some type of uh, cloud solution. Um, so basically, this is what it is. This is the fun part I've been wanting to get into. Let me zoom in. Hopefully, you guys can see. So we have the guest policies. We could do captive portal, which it actually gives you a great preview of it here. So basically when your guests log on on their laptop, this is the window that they're gonna have to click through to authenticate on your network in order to use the internet. So basically what I'm gonna do is customize this, add my logo from my website for the studio, and then um, it gives you a section here for redirects. So if you can make this out, after they click on your Wi-Fi and they get connected and then they click on the captive portal, you could have them bounce out to a external website. So basically what I'm going to do is I have an Amazon Associates account 
and I'm gonna get this link from up here if you have an Amazon Associates account you'll know what I'm doing so you find a product that you want you grab the link then I'm gonna go into here where it says promotional URL uh, yeah and we just paste that there and then we just hit apply and it should work so let me customize everything and then I'll give you guys an update once I get everything done be back